Okay, let's see if I can get this or not. See, here's where the screw is. You see that? And, you know, if that was a particle board edge on the side of the cabinet, I could just whack that off with the hammer and snap it right off. See, see, because it's this long, I could just hit it and it will break right off. But because it's going through this small stuff, we've got, it's only three eighths and there's a little bit of, of a, a veneer on both sides. Well, at least on, on this side there is. And I'm afraid if I try to, try to hit it with the hammer real quick, it might not snap off. So I'm gonna have to get down there, down and dirty, and try to grab it with my pliers. Now, take my pliers and try to break it. And I wanna see how it's going at the angle and see if I have enough room, you know, to go about, right, about there, okay, and bend it back and forth. But I'm gonna take some cutters. These are just electrical cutters. And I'm gonna kinda of try to score it. Now, I won't be able to snap it off with this because these sheetrock screws just aren't going to do that, okay? But if I just try to score it a little bit, then I can try to get this <laughs> snapped off right there, and I'm going to bend it back and back, and it might snap off the fir very first go, okay, ready? There it is. You see that? That worked out pretty good. It's only sticking out just a smidge. That's fine. Nobody's going to hit their fingers on it. And it helped because I, because I scored it. Ah, uh, Joe's laboring now. Yes, because I've been messing with this and I kind of tweaked my back a little bit. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now, if I end up putting any more screws in there, I'm going to break them off the very same way, okay? I hope you learned something with that. Okay, I'm going to fix this cabinet right here. There was a trash compactor in here from years ago. I installed it for my parents. And it was hitting this face frame because I didn't have it installed so that the door was flush with the cabinet like this. It was inset a little bit, so every time you open the door, it hit the back of that. Now see, see how this cabinet face frame is moving? And if I look over here at the end, right here, it's away from this too, so it has to be pushed that way and attached right there, and that'll give me the gap that I want there. Now I could just put one nail in right there, but I also want this one to help hold because this bottom of this cabinet. They didn't make these cabinets, uh, you know, they were pre-finished type of cabinets and the bottom uh, floor piece shelf is th only three-eighths, it looks, three-eighths of an inch thick. And so I want to put one nail here and I want to put one there. But before I nail that, I'm going to end up using my drill. And I got, I had to scrounge around for some finished nails. And these are four penny finished nails. And these are six penny finish nails. See, see how the difference is in the length? I'm going to take this small one and I'm going to go right in here. But before I just start banging it in there, I'm going to loosen things up if I just try to nail it directly in there. Because sometimes your face frames, like uh, I think this is alder or birch. It's probably birch. But if you have oak or cherry or maple, something like that, you're probably never going to get this in by your hand. Okay, you're going to have to pre-drill that hole. So I, I'm deciding to use the small little finish nail right here in the corner. And so I'm going to use the smallest drill bit I have for this. Okay, and pre-drill it. So I'm ready to do that. And so I'm going to line that up. Now I only have, this is only 3 eighths of an inch. And this is sticking up about an eighth or so, and it looks like it's like that all the way around. So I have to go down. You know, I'm eyeballing it. I probably could measure like uh, 5 sixteenths or so, but that looks about 5 sixteenths. 
I'm just going to go a little bit out of time and back it out and then that takes the wood out because this is such a small drill bit. Okay, it went through and once it, once it hits there, I don't have to go any further because I don't want to pre-drill all the way through. I just want to pre-drill through the face frame itself, okay? So now, make sure I got my uh, four penny finish nail and that, that's what that is. Ah, resituate myself. I just kind of tweaked my back trying to, trying to work on the, uh, the trash compactor here. But I got to get this thing done and this is something that you might want to know how to do. Now see, that went in good. Okay, that's nice and tight. Now, I'm choosing to not do anything because when, when I close this door, you're not going to see that nail, are you? The only time you're going to see it is when you open this door all the way and somebody looks down there and they say, what's that? Well, you can't even hardly see that. But if you wanted to, you could take a nail set and they have three different sizes. This one's too big. This one's for bigger nails. But anyways, they have smaller ones. You can set that in there and just hold it like that and tap it with a hammer. And that will indent it into the wood just a little bit. And then you could take some putty, a putty stick. They have putty sticks at the store that match um, different stains. And if you think you know exactly, here's a tip for you. If you just get one putty stick at the store and you think, oh yeah, that's gonna be close enough. And you come home, Chances are you got the wrong putty stick. You might have to get two or three different putty sticks if you're doing something that really makes a big difference to you. And then you can put a putty stick right over there. You just take a little bit off with, with, a, with a small little screwdriver, flat blade, and then put it in there and then kind of wipe it off and then wipe off the excess. And it covers it right over, okay? Well, there's, there's the first one. I decided to put the four penny there. I'm going to put a six penny over here. I could put a four there too, but um, with this trash compactor opening and closing all the time, I just don't want it to hit that edge, which in fact, I don't think it ever is going to hit it anymore, so I should be fine. I probably don't have to put a six penny in here, and because see, it's going to go in pretty far, and this is only three eighths, and uh, it might split out. I might end up wanting to do the smaller one, but um, I just want to make sure I've got enough room for it and that's flush and it's sticking in about a half inch. You know what? I think I'm going to just use the, uh, the four penny nail and put one in right there. Now see, before I drill it, I noticed I had just a slight gap right there. So I pull this out here, tap that over, okay? And I know that that is sticking up about an eighth again. And so I'm gonna eyeball down further than that, maybe five sixteenths or so. Drill in a little bit and pull out the excess. Because this is a small little drill bit if you don't do that, you're going to start burning it up and it's not going to drill very easily. Try to make sure you go straight because you could snap off a drill bit. Yeah, that's where you got to hold your mouth just right. And you can do it. Hey, if I can do it, you can do it. No doubt about that. Okay, hold that tight. I'm just gonna make it flush. That's all, that's all I'm gonna do. There. You really aren't gonna see those nails down there low, but like I said, you could use you could use putty, and before you use putty, you take a nail set, a really small one, tap that in about a sixteenth or so, and put some putty on there. But you're not going to see that. And another thing I could do, you know, for that one, if I had a felt tip pen, 
Because see how dark that is? I could put just a dot right there. In fact, I could do that right there too. Let's see what happens. Let's try that, shall we? Okay, I got a Sharpie. I use these for quite a, quite a few reasons. And one reason is to do exactly this. I'm just going to take that and put a dot on it. See how that kind of hides it? It takes the shine off it, you know. And then I can do this one over here. I know it's not the exact same color as the cabinet, but yeah, you know, wipe off a little bit excess. And that actually looks better than a nice silver thing there, you know what I mean? Try that next time. If it's in a small little inconspicuous area, and you can do it too. Let's see, there's a nice gap right there now because this is all supported nice and tight. I can move this back and forth, knowing, knowing it's not going to hit over there anymore. I'm liking that. Okay, mark that off my list. Okay, let's check her out. I'm liking that. The foot thing's fixed. I got it attached over here. I even went ahead and secured this face frame down here with the finish nail. I also did it down over here. I pre-drilled those holes first, put some, uh, some finish nails in there, and attached it. I'm going to make a corporate decision that I'm not going to put any more screws in. Remember I told you I might put two here, two in over there. Well, this is still flexing a little bit because this uh, face frame is moving ever so little from this cabinet. And you know what? I think I could fix that too. Maybe I should put another finish nail there. I, I just really didn't want to put a finish nail there though. Because if I do that, then you're going to see the head of the finish nail. Okay? With this door closed, you're going to see the finished nail right there. I don't have a putty stick here. And um, I'm choosing to think I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. So I'm not going to put any more screws in here. Yes, this still wiggles ever so slightly. But I still got it in between there. I've got it mounted down at the bottom there. And I'm liking it. Yeah. One more thing I got to do. I'm gonna. Put, I got to put the uh, um, the plastic bag in there, and I'll show you how to do that. If there's nothing else that you've learned on this video, maybe you can learn how to put this plastic bag in because there's a right way and a wrong way. All right, be right back. Okay, now for the sake of argument, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bag back in. But see, it only comes out so far, so you gotta lift up on it a little bit and get it over that bottom lip and pull it out that far. That's what we want. That way, put this trash bag back in. Cause there's there's a little bit more life to it. Let's see if I can let's see if I can even fit it in there. And if you get trash compactor bags, they're a little bit stronger than like kitchen bags, let's say. Then you're just gonna fit them kind of over this lip here. And I, I try to get this flat and I got the pull strings off to the side. I'm gonna push that all the way across there. And then I'm gonna kind of pull on it at the ends. And it kind of fits down in there like that. You wanna keep this all off to the sides because as you push it back, next time you get ready for the trash compactor uh, section it pushes right down in the middle so in order to push it back in see I can only go so far before it hits now I lift up on it get it over the wheel and slide her in there you go there mark that off my list <laughs> 